In this section, we will be talking about the use of the Enochian material by the Golden Dawn, an early 20th century occult group dedicated to the study thereof. The Golden Dawn originated with the decipherment of a series of manuscripts in a code originally by Johann Trithemius, and each degree of those described in the initial seven of the Golden Dawn system uses some form or other of the Enochian material of John D. To begin, let us look at Mather's model of the pentagram, which attributes each of the four elements to a place on the zodiac round, such that the four elements form the base of a pyramid on the zodiac round, the capstone of which would be the fifth element, spirit and as following the progression of the zodiac as given by the seasons of the main year. We find Aquarius in midwinter, Taurus mid-spring, Leo the summer solstice, and Scorpio the autumnal equinox are given in a counterclockwise order. However, due to the effect of Earth's polar precession, we know the zodiac may be read not only according to the seasons of the mean year, but also to the solar aeons by which we measure the ice ages. And when it is read in this fashion, then Mather's arrangement of the zodiac would follow in a clockwise order, attributing to Scorpio the element water, to Leo, the element fire, to Taurus, the element earth, and to Aquarius, the element air, again with spirit above all. And this is where most research into Mather's pentagram ends. However, there is another method of reading Mather's pentagram, hinted at here by the color coding, to understand this method, let us turn our attention to this rendition of a heptagram inside of a heptagon by Aleister Crowley from his Book of Thoth. They are attributed to a fellow member of the Golden Dawn. In this model, which I have color-coded according to the spectrum of a prism, we see the numbers as they are attributed to the Kamiya number squares for each of the seven planets. Thus, 3, the number of the planet Saturn, is attributed to the Kamiya number square of 3 by 3. Thus, the square of Saturn is really a square of 9 individual cells, and so forth for all of the other planetary Kamiya as well, such that the square of Saturn is 9, the square of Jupiter, 16, the square of Mars, 25, and so forth, in a simple clockwise order around the array. However, there is another method of reading this system. Across the legs of the heptagram, as opposed to along the legs of the heptagon. And this yields a heptagram of the days of the week from within at the heptagon of the planetary cameo which, however, shuffles the order of the color-coded arrangement of the seven planetary cameo, such that every other planetary cameo will be the following day of the week, because the interior heptagram on which we have traced the days of the week is a skip-to measure inside the larger heptagon. However, we can also note that there is another heptagram of skip 3 measure at the innermost center, which may represent both D's Sigillum de Emeth as well as Crowley's Star of Babylon. And so we can see, returning to Mather's model of the pentagram, by applying this method of following the legs of the stellated polygon, that Mather's model yields the order of the elements according to ancient alchemy by following the legs of the pentagram along a counterclockwise motion proceeding from 
water as gravity to air as electromagnetism to fire as nuclear fission and earth as nuclear fusion. However, now we may also see that there is another way of reading this series of elements as according to along the legs of the pentagram and that is clockwise around the array to yield the order of the elements as they are given by the Kabbalists such that the four elements are seen as an emanation following from spirit in the order of fire, air, water, earth.